Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today I'm going to show you guys how I created this blended photo effect using Canva. Make sure you check out the description box and if you like the video or you learned something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Alright guys, to begin that tutorial, we're going to start off in canva.com and for the purpose of this video, we're just going to go ahead and do a regular eight and a half by eleven letter document size. And they have some templates available that you can customize how you want. But we're just going to start off with the blank page. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and grab the images that I want to use for this project. So I'm going to go to my uploads. And grab some pictures that I took on my 30th birthday. And as you can see, all my pictures except this one have the background already cleaned up. So we're just going to go ahead up here to effects and hit background eraser. Now I am using the Canva Pro version and the background eraser is a Canva Pro um, option only. Okay. Okay. So I have my image. So I have all my images free of a background. Perfect. So now I'm going to go to photos and select a background and I'm going to type in birthday. And I'm just going to scroll through until I find a background that I like. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use this image. And if you wanted to find that image too, hold on. Well, you can basically type in any of these words. Hot air balloon, gold color, um, gold balloons to get this background, okay? So I'm going to use Make sure this image is highlighted, hit right click and hit set images background. So now there's our background. So I'm just going to pick which picture I want to be my main focus. Smooth those out the way for now. And I want this one. So I'm just going to extend this picture to make it bigger. Let's position it to the front and okay, so this looks pretty good right now. It looks like I'm standing on the floor. I like that. And okay, so then we'll take this image, take it. Crop that arm out just a little bit. Extend it a little bit. Oops. So when you're working with multiple pictures, you could go ahead. So I have this picture I want where I want it, right? I don't want it to move. So I'm going to make sure it's highlighted and go up here to this lock button. And now it won't move. So I don't have to worry about that picture moving while I'm trying to work with my other ones back here. So I have that and I'm just going to maybe turn it just a little bit. But it's hidden behind that balloon, but that's okay. 
Let's just get into position for now. And I'm going to do the same with this picture, just make it a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my main picture. I'm going to unlock it because I just want to make it okay. So now to this picture, obviously, it's way too big. So I'm just going to shrink that down. And I don't want all my pictures like uniform. I don't necessarily want them all the same size. So that's why I'm playing with different angles and different sizes for each picture. Okay, so that looks pretty good for now. So what we're going to do to give it that blended effect is we're just going to go up here to, to the transparency and take it down. I like to leave it at about between 60 to 65. So this is 60 and that looks good. And we're going to do the same thing for this one, take it down to 60. Okay, I think I like that. Yeah, I think I think that's pretty good. Okay, and now let's go add some text. I'm going to go to styles because Canva like matches up um, text that they already have that kind of looks good together. And it's going to pull from my color scheme that from the picture from the colors in the picture that I'm using. So let me just bring this to the front so I can kind of explain that better. Okay, you see this it's brown. Normally text is like black or whatever, but it's going based off the colors that I have in my picture. So where's the other this is the subheading and there's supposed to be some more text around here. Let me just move this real quick. Okay, here it is. Okay, let me move all that stuff back. And let's lock everything so it doesn't move while we're trying to work with our text. Bring that forward. Uh, 
Okay, so let's type in happy, all caps, and then we'll say birthday. And then I want some effects for my text. So I'm going to go make sure my text is highlighted. And I like the neon look. And I can change the intensity of the glow with this sliding bar. That changes the color. Let's see what this lift look like. Shadow. Mm, shadow's cute. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Hmm, that one shadow neon. <laughs> I'm going to change that text because that H looks like an N. Let me see. I know I want a cursive. Huh. Mm -hmm. No. There we go. Okay. I like that. Make it bigger, bring it down. Wait, let me move this first. And honestly, you guys, there you go. <laughs> um, I keep telling y'all to get a Canva Pro. I keep trying to tell y'all that Canva is the bomb. Like, look at this beautiful image that we created. Like, I'm not a graphic designer or, or anything. Um, I'm pretty sure there's things that can be tweaked. Are done better, you know, as far as the design aspect of this. But these are some of the, this is like something that they create in Photoshop. And we did it in Canva. And if you don't use the background image, well, you can. This whole image we did in Canva for free, okay? Because this background image is free to use for Canva Pro and the Canva free version. Um, I'm not sure about the text though, so but you know, you guys get what I'm saying. So go ahead and get Canva if you don't have it. Like we create so many dope things in Canva on this channel. So as always, guys. Oh, okay. So hold on. Before, before I log off. Um, so we have this right. And you would go ahead and hit that download button. And you would save it as a PDF to your, I mean, a PNG. Whoops, I got cut off. <laughs> but you would just save it to a PNG to your computer. And then you can print it as you please. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you later.